nomenclature of organic compound. So I will go step by step now. Hello everyone, welcome to our chemistry. So this video is about organic nomenclature. So in organic nomenclature, why organic nomenclature? This is a very very important topic. And in organic nomenclature, the thing I have divided the whole organic nomenclature thing in few parts. I have tried to cover all short of examples that all short of possible examples that is in that organic nomenclature. I have divided it in, 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 in few words, but before going to that, I would suggest you to see my previous video about the basic organic nomenclature thing. Now the thing is, in which part I have divided? That organic compounds I have divided them according to nomenclature, basically four part: acyclic organic compound, cyclic organic compound, spiral compound, and bicyclic organic compound. And acyclic and cyclic organic compound both have with functional group compound, without functional group compound, and cyclic organic compound. Few are in aromatic nature and few are in not in aromatic in nature. So they are non-aromatic type. Of. And in functional with functional group compounds, there, there is two type of compound with only one functional group with more than one functional group. Means in that case we have to consider suffixes and prefixes. And I have explained a brief way in my previous video about that. So I will go for each of that example of each of the part. From cyclic organic compound, acyclic organic compound, spiral compound, and bicyclic. Let's go for example for acyclic compounds. Let's see. First, I will take a very easy example like this thing. So these have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 number of carbon. So simply this one is a, an acyclic compound with 5 carbon with no double bond. So if you have seen my previous video, basic nomenclature rules. So you can name it like this name will be 10, 10, 10 for 5 number of carbon and in for only without any double bond or triple bond so only single bonds are there so the name will be pen 10 now i am going to a acyclic compound with a functional group see here two functional groups are present now we have to know which functional group we will give priority so here we will give priority to that acid group so one here so one two Three, like that way phone number at uh, the phone number carbon oxo group is there so its name will be 4 oxo and 1 2 3 4 5 5 number of carbon is there so it will be 4 oxo pentanoic acid so the IUPAC nomenclature will be so the name will be 4 oxo pentanoic acid so how to name this type of compound for this we have to see my previous video now I am going towards cyclic compound Cyclic compounds can be aromatic in nature, can be non-aromatic in nature and cyclic compound can have functional group and can't have functional group also. So for each type we will see examples. Let's see. Now for cyclic compounds, suppose we have taken a cyclohexane, a cyclohexane with two double bond. So we have a cyclohexane with two double bond here, one here and another is here. Now you have to give name to this and another we have taken here with a functional group. Suppose that cyclohexane contain two functional group like one functional group double bonded O another substitution that is chlorine. So chlorine here. Now, now if we are giving names so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and six here and for this compound we will start naming from double bonded O this one is our first priority for priority order also you have to see my previous video so that concept will be very much clear to you so one two three four five and six so for this compound look two double bonds are there at one position lowest number I will consider and at three position so the name will be 
one three cyclohexadiene one three. So the name will be one three cyclohexadiene. Now for second compound we have chlorine at four position and double bonded O at position number one. So it will be four chloro four chloro cyclohexan cyclohexan one cyclohexan known. So four chloro four chloro cyclo hexanone x on one o n e so the name will be four chloro cyclo hexanone now moving forward let's see now for spiro compounds how to name that spiro compounds actually what are what are the spiro compound that what which type of compound are called spiro compound so if we have something like that a ring there and another ring attached like that manner so this will be called spiro compound so let's go for its naming now remember for spiro compound we have two ring here passing which are one carbon is common in that two ring and that two rings are passing through one carbon only so we have to see the total number of carbon present in these two rings and we will consider the smallest number of carbon ring first so we will start numbering so this one is a spiro compound having one double bond here so whenever we are doing numbering so we will give numbering to the smallest carbon smallest ring first so here the smallest ring is this one having four carbon so we will write one two three four now four number completed now after having four we will start from there five so five six seven eight so lesser number get the double bond so the naming will be like that for spiro compound we have to put before the name spiro then after th writing the name spiro we will put a third bracket so in that third bracket we will write the two carbon number through which we will pass to go from one ring to another ring so we have this ring smaller ring and we are passing carbon number three and carbon number four to go towards the larger ring so we will write three four inside the bracket so three comma four inside the bracket and total number of carbon is eight here so it will be oct it will be oct after that after that we will write the number where the substitution or any double bond triple bond is present that number is five so oct hyphen five we will write then at 5 position double bond is there so oct 5 in like that way spiro compound nomenclature can be done so the thing is spiro 3 4 oct 5 in this one is a rule for spiro compound now i am going towards a bicyclic compound next we will go for bicyclic compound now the bi for bicyclic compound the thing is we will take a bicyclic compound first so here we have the bicyclic compound bicyclic compound naming is the easiest like we have two cycle bicyclic means we have two cycle which are sharing one bridge head position or one bridge so we have to see how many heads are there how many heads are there means here totally three cycles are there so along the three cycle that cycle have two a head means this one one this one two and another cycle have one head only another cycle have another head so we will put bicyclo first of all so we will put before bicyclo then we will write the number of how many number of heads are there bridge heads are there so bicyclo third bracket so here three bridges are named are there with two carbon with one carbon and another with one carbon 
and total number of carbon if you count here six number of carbon is present and at the end that alkane alkene or alkyne name or that is hexane here six number of carbon without any double bond so it will be hexane so the name will be here bicyclo before then two carbon one carbon one carbon two one one and hexane that will be the naming for bicyclo compound if this video is helpful to you so please give a like share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching the whole video is about only that organic compound contain only carbon means without any heterocyclic compound means contain the ring containing other than carbon molecule there is no example for this so for heterocyclic compound nomenclature you have to see my other videos about heterocyclic compound nomenclature the link is given in the description box thank you